Hello Hacienda La Puente, this is Ricardo, one of your Tech Tosas. And this video is specifically for middle school, high school, and admin in those levels too. So one of the questions that we've had by teachers that might be uh, teaching AVID, or they might have a homeroom, or they might be a coach, it's that they do not have the ability in Canvas to go to a student, okay, click on him, and see all of their grades. They can only see the grades for that specific class. Well, what I want you to see that instead of having just student grades, notice how on the bottom, I have view all grades. And if I click on it, it will take me to a place where I can see the grades for this particular student for all of his classes. This is huge for me as a coach. I coached soccer for many years uh, when I wanted to make sure that my kids were actually doing well in classes and they were um, getting uh, good grades so they can play in my sport was something that I used all the time. So instead of bothering that teacher with a uh, grade report, I can come in here and just look at it. So how do we accomplish this? Um, there's a couple of steps that you need to do. Uh, in a prior video, I showed you how to install the Chrome um, extension called Tamper Monkey. So we're gonna do that if, in case you've never done it, okay? So go to the Chrome Web Store. Okay, once you are there, I want you to type Tamper Monkey. Okay, it's right here. Okay, it's the first one, the one that looks like this. I'm going to click on it, and you will see that I've already added it to my Chrome, so I don't have to add, but for you, it will say add to Chrome or install in Chrome. So just click on the blue button, and it's going to add it. And how do you know that it's been added? This little uh, icon right here is going to show up on your Chrome browser over here. Remember that you have to be signed into Chrome browser to be able to install extensions, so it's right there, okay? So that is the first step that you have to do, and now that it's installed, we're gonna continue, okay? After you've installed it, you have to add a script. I'm going to provide all the links that you need on the um, uh, description for this video below, so you'll have access to this page, and over here, we have already installed Taper Monkey. I want you to install the file. So number two, you're just going to click on it. Okay. When you click on it, it's going to say it's going to automatically install it. Actually, okay. It's going to say that it's installed. It's giving me an option to reinstall. You don't have to do anything. Just click on the file, and it's going to install it in your um, Chrome extension. Okay. That's all you have to do. And once you've done it, you can just close this. Okay. After you have done that, what I want you to do is I want you to go to the right. I want you to click on the extension and I want you to go to dashboard. Okay. Uh, the one we are working with today is the view all grades for a student. If you want to understand how to message observers from uh, students who have missed an assignment, you can look at our video that we made about this, but we're looking at view all grades for a student. So once you see it, that's the only one you're going to have. If you haven't installed the other one from the other video, go all the way to the right and click edit. When you click edit, I want you to go to settings. And on settings, I want you to go to the bottom where it says includes, excludes, and user includes. And I want you to add our Canvas specific website. So I want you to go to add, okay? Go back to Canvas and just copy the website. Just going to copy it. Up to the backspace, copy. Go back, add site again. Go ahead and throw it in there, paste it. And after the backslide, I want you to add the asterisk. This allows Canvas or this particular extension or script to know that when you are in Canvas for Hacienda La Puente, it's going to look for that everywhere. And you press OK. I'm not going to press OK because I already have it in there, OK? And now, when I go back, it's already there. You can close it, OK? When you are in Canvas, you will see that your extension now has a one on it. Mine has a two because I have two different scripts running, okay? But now if I go here and I went to my grades, okay, for any of my classes, let's go to one of my classes right now, okay? And I picked any of my students and I went to their name. Now I have the option to view all grades and I can see all of their grades. 
If you have any questions on how to do this, please do not hesitate to reach us. Have a great day.